Hey guys, welcome to another video on Bharat in Germany. My name is Bharat and in this video, I'm going to do a detailed breakdown of how much do mechanical engineers earn in Germany. I'm going to compare it with US because there are so many people who say that you earn so much more in US. I'm also going to talk about Texas because again, only children think that whatever money you're earning, all of that is going to go into your pocket. Adults know that there are going to be taxes both in US and in Germany. I'm also going to compare that. And then towards the end, I'm also going to show you what kind of different other factors can affect your salaries in Germany, depending on what kind of size of company you're working in, what is the work experience you're having and multiple other things. So this is going to be a very detailed and very informative video. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends so that more people know about this myth and they can make a more rational decision on the basis of this information. So I will take you to the screen now. So how much do mechanical engineers earn in Germany? For this, we are going to take a look at Germany and we are going to side by side compare it to US. So in Germany, the median income is around 4,930 euros and the lower 25% people are earning around 4,323 and the upper 25% are earning around 5,623. So this is the entire average of all of the different kind of data points that they're having. This brings around 59,160 euros per year. And you can find more details about this on gehalt.de. This is the website that people use in Germany for taking a look at the salaries and everything. Now in US, um, again, you can take a look at the average salary for a mechanical engineer as around 71,783. They're talking about it as the median. Now again, this information has been taken from payscale.com. So both of these websites from Germany and from US are pretty comparable. Now, then afterwards you go down and you see, okay, 59,160 euros is your brutto salary. That means the taxes have not been cut yet. And whereas in US, if you convert 71,783 US dollars, that is just 59,227 euros. So I sometimes find it very stupid when people just say, yeah, yeah, there you're earning like 70,000 US dollars and in Germany you're just earning like 60,000 euros. And I'm like, there's something called conversion rate and US dollars is weaker in comparison to euros. And I will also show you how it has been declining over the months. Now here, if you take a look at this screenshot, just took like recently when I was doing some calculations in the morning, uh, previously, the US dollar used to be at around 0 0.92 or something um, when compared to the euros, but now it has declined further to just 0 0.82 and it has been the lowest for like quite a while now. So again, you can say that you're earning a lot of money in US dollars, but in euros, it is not a lot again because euros is a stronger currency right now in terms of the currency exchange. So now if you take a look at the next things in US Every single thing that you're generally like, you know, paying for, it is more expensive. The public transportation is just absolutely horrible. Then don't talk about the crime rates. I think like one of the worst crime rates in the developed world is something that you can find in US. So many mass shootings and all of these things. All of this stuff you don't even hear in Germany. So like for me, this is like a very, very weird decision. And also when you take a look at the salaries, when you're earning 4,935 euros um, versus like just earning like, you know, 59,160 euros. So this just like really boggles my mind. Now again, there are a lot of like, you know, different kind of considerations that go inside again to decide the very specific salary for a specific state, for a specific field and so on. But these are the general comparisons that we are doing. Payscale.com showed us this number. Gehal.de showed us the other number for Germany. And we are making a comparison out of this. Now let's take a look at the taxes. So in Germany, like when you have all of the deductions and everything, you see that towards the end, you're getting in hand 3000 euros, whereas in US, you are getting 3,718 euros, which is nice. But again, you have to keep in mind, food is more expensive. You most probably will have to take a student loan to study in US. Then afterwards, public transportation is also expensive and is not really usable because there are very less, let's say stopping points and stuff for most of the public network that you're having. So again, if you see in the end how much you'll be getting saved in US comparison to Germany, it's not a lot either. And in Germany, you're able to just like, you know, able to afford more things with the same amount of price. The purchasing power is better in Germany compared to US. If you take a look at the major companies, so you have BMW, Continental, Audi, Mercedes, Porsche and so on, which are like, you know, having their main base in Germany. That is also nice. So I hope with this, you understand that the difference that everybody screams about with very misinformed information is not a lot between Germany and US when you're thinking about salaries. 
If you are skillful, you can find a good job in US, you can find a good job in Germany, but the things that you cannot change is the crime rates, you cannot change the public transportation system, you cannot change the security, you cannot change the purchasing power. So all of these things are always baked into the country that you choose. No? Money you can still somehow regulate, you can earn more, you can earn less, but if you are being in a particular location, those are the things that generally you cannot affect. No? Now let's talk about what different kind of criteria come into play here. So in Germany, for example, if you're having more than nine years of work experience, you would be earning around 5,304 euros. If you have seven to nine years of work experience, around 4,635 euros, three to six years of work experience, 4,413 euros, and less than three years of work experience is 4,243 euros. Then afterwards, let's take a look at the salaries according to the size of the business. So if you're working in a company which has more than 20,000 employees, your salary can go up to 6,447 euros. From 1,001 to 20,000, 5,496 euros. From 101 to 1,000, 4,988 euros. And for less than 100 employees, you have 4,313 euros. Now again, like this is uh, on their own experiences with different kind of uh, data points that they have been taking. Now, I'm also going to talk about another big myth that many people say that, yes, like, go to Berlin, like, that's where you earn the most, which is such utter nonsense, like, I just cannot understand it. Berlin is not the kind of city where you are, like, earning insane amounts of money, and it is not the norm for every single field. For mechanical engineers, if you take a look at the data here, the place where mechanical engineers earn the most is Hessen, with 5,356 euros. Then you have Baden-Württemberg with 5,348 euros. Then you have Bayern with 5,186 euros. Even in Hamburg, you're earning more money than in Bayern. So this puts Hamburg as the third best paid state in the field of mechanical engineering. And if you take a look at Berlin, it's 4,646 euros. There's a standard difference of like 600 euros. And from Hessen, there's a difference of up to 710 euros. So like, don't just listen to what everybody has been saying. Now, the things that I'm showing you right now, this is not a surprise for the students who are enrolled in my courses. These kind of things is something that we discuss about all the time. And that's how we make a more educated decision about what kind of place to go and what kind of universities to look out for and things like that. The same goes for the complete course for finding jobs in Germany and also for the complete course for studying in Germany. Students are more aware there. Students do the self-research. They get better guidance than they would get anywhere else. But if you just listen to some YouTube videos where the person is trying to make some quick bucks by showing you some kind of like nonsense trash, then it does not make any sense at all. For me, like YouTube is not my primary source of income at all. Like that's, I don't know, 0.5% or something of what I earn. And this also means I don't have to jump towards clickbait. I don't care about it. For me, giving better information is way more important. So here you take a look at these different kind of states. Um, you can find more information on gehal.de again. So all in all, like I can tell you one thing that it is not a bad idea at all if you're coming to study in Germany because the salaries there are comparable, the things are more affordable, it is more safe and also as a mechanical engineer, you would be actually in the hub of mechanical engineering. Tesla is also opening their plant in Berlin. So that is also going to be another addition to all of the companies that you can work in or work for when you have studied in Germany. Plus, you don't have to take the nonsense debt of what, I don't know, 60, 80,000 US dollars. Some people also argue that it can be less, but well, I mean, like you see that most of the people are taking crazy amounts of loan. Whereas in Germany, like you just have 10,000 euros of blocked account. And then afterwards, you can also do a part-time job to increase it the next year. Now, and this is all the money which is going directly to yourself. The universities are not charging any tuition fee at all. Even in the future, if the universities start charging some tuition fee and it's like 500, 1000, 1500 euros, that will still be much, much better decision than US because of the things that I talked about. The crime rates, the public transportation systems and the affordability. You have more purchasing power when you are in Germany. You have more freedom to travel around in different kind of EU countries than when you're in US. So just keep this in mind and don't just follow what everybody else is saying. If you're looking for any kind of guidance, you will not find better guidance anywhere else than on Big Academy. If you want to study in Germany, you can enroll in the course, complete course for studying in Germany. There we have bi-weekly live sessions and we have a dedicated email support for the students who are enrolling there. Then if you want to find a job in Germany, for that we also have a dedicated course, the complete course for finding jobs in Germany. And again, a course like this does not exist. You have the intensive coaching plan in this course and you have the standard 
standard plan. In the standard plan, you get access to the course content so that you can do the things on your own and you have one month support. Whereas in the intensive coaching plan, we have weekly coaching sessions for one month where we sit down and work on different kinds of strategies and you have support for six months. And like I said, again, the kind of guidance that we provide in the course and the kind of information that you will get, you will not find anywhere else. If you want to be a part of the intensive coaching plan, the first session is going to take place on 7th May. So make sure you're enrolling at least till Sunday so that you have the time to go through the course and we can start the coaching plan properly. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.